So I'm curious your take on this because some of the pushback that I've seen, and I think there's some healthy reason to be be concerned about it is there is, you know, some concern about, well, where does all this information go? Mm -hmm. And what happens to all this stuff that, you know, essentially, and if you talk to the doomsday folks, they're like, you're training the very thing that's going to come completely torpedo you. So yeah. I'm actually curious when you think about that, what's your initial reaction? When you say, where does everything go? What, what more specifically do you mean to make so, sure I answer okay. properly? So as an example, right, let's say your pitch, your pitch mm -hmm. GPT that you use to write your yeah. pitch emails, you are now sharing all of the intellectual property of the empathy firm with this GPT on, Hey, here is all the best stuff that we've ever done. Yeah. We're teaching you how to do this. We're giving you all this information ultimately. Yes. For the benefit that you're going to help us create more of that. But what happens? And I think this is some of the legitimate concern people have with AI is some of that used to be locked in our heads. And so it added an inherent yeah. value to people that they went, well, I'm good at this. Yeah. Now I'm just giving all this away to who? Yeah. Well, a few things on that. One, so I think that's a really great question. And I think a lot of people even don't consider that. But essentially, yeah, I know that there are people that are worried about is my competitive moat being bridged over by AI, essentially? And if I use yeah. it, am I also, you know, draining my moat? Um yeah. I have some stronger opinions on this. So I think that the the thing is, it's like, I mm, okay. First off, it depends is the first one. It depends on the company. Yeah. Right? I, I know Samsung gotten like, they had a whole thing a while ago where like employees <laughs> were using it and they leaked a whole bunch of proprietary code that probably had millions of dollars worth of development on. That's a yeah. different scenario. You got to know what your business is. You got to know the boundary are. lines. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, I'm, so as I say this, you know, take the context of your own business and apply it. But like for us, it's like the, the real, the stuff is okay. For a lot of service-based businesses, you're going to hurt yourself a lot more by playing on defense and not wanting to share a secret than you will if you, if you were to flip it and plan offense and be like, okay, well maybe this AI will learn and get better and help my competitors. But the reality is if I'm going in on this strong and it's helping our team and we just continue that culture and that mindset, that's going to help us way more in the long run. And then if one of our competitors gives us something awesome, now we're better, whatever it is. Cause I think in service-based businesses, implementation is more than half the battle. So let's like, if you build something that helps with implementation, don't shy away from that. In my opinion, yeah. And the other part of it too, and this is why we're big on branding and whatnot, is because brand is competitive moat. When a service becomes essentially, let's say, commoditized, let's say AI helps commoditize a service because it's like, oh, well, now everyone kind of has access to do this thing at a high level, which inherently you have to think about as well because marketers ruin everything. The market isn't just going to let everything be the same and be cool with it. So you're always going to have to innovate. No. And, and if you're the and if you're the source, then it's dependent on you for innovation. So remember yeah. that as well, because like if you're always at the beginning, like, oh, we're doing this, we're doing that, and you build a culture around that, well, now, you know, you don't have to worry so much about that biting you in the butt. Um, but yeah, if you build your brand too, then even if the service itself is more commoditized, you and your business are not, because people are viewing you for information that somebody else might know, but they just don't see. Um, plus, you know, it's, it's just like, if you go to a clothing store and you see a white shirt that says Adidas versus a white shirt with a logo you've never seen before, they're the exact same thing, but you just trust Adidas cause you're familiar with it and you know what to expect. Yeah.